This is Tom Ancuso, moderator with Bedded VA. I want to cover a Circular 26-21-11. It was released July 15, 2021. The purpose of this circular was it covers the updated funding fee information for lenders. The purpose of the circular is to clarify the process relating to the remittance of the statutory funding fee, basically when it's not charged. Some background. The VA continues enhancement to the certificate of eligibility to provide more certainty to lenders whether or not to require collecting of the VA funding fee. Generally, the VA cannot guarantee a loan until the statutory funding fee associated with the loan is remitted to. However, funding fee is not to be collected from individuals who are provided a waiver on the funding fee. It is concerned that some lenders are not exercising due diligence when trying to provide uh, whether or not a veteran is exempt from the VA funding fee. The VA is also concerned that some borrowers may even be advised to finance the VA funding fee so that effectively they can receive cash back after closing if they're due to be exempt. The statutory waiver of the funding fee applies to several different veterans. A couple examples, a veteran who receives disability compensation, a surviving spouse of any veteran who died from a service-related connected disability, um, a veteran who is relate, uh, rated eligible to receive compensation as a result of a pre-discharge disability examination and rating, um, or based on a pre-discharge uh, review of existing medical evidence that results in the issuance of a memorandum. Another one is a, a member of the armed services who is currently serving on duty and who provides on or before closing of the loan evidence that they have been awarded the Purple Heart. A couple examples of funding fee exemptions uh, determination, I'm sorry, funding fee exemption determination. Lenders are to ensure before the loan's closing whether or not the borrower is exempt from having to pay the funding fee. Lenders are also uh, required to exercise due diligence in determining whether an, an exemption would apply at the time of loan closing. Lenders are not to ignore information that could indicate whether a funding fee exemption might apply. In addition, lenders are not to advise a potentially exempt borrower to finance the funding fee only to basically give them cash back after a loan closes. Couple different types of loans. On interest rate reductions, uh, the COE is not required anymore on EARLs. For other types of loans, the funding fee exemption will be displayed in the certificate of eligibility. It will display on the certificate of eligibility, quote unquote, non-exempt. The lender should ask the borrower if he or she has any pending compensation claims with the VA. If the borrower does indicate they have a pending claim, the lender should rerun the certificate of eligibility before closing to verify if the borrower is exempt or not. Now with funding fee corrections um, and refund requests, if it is necessary, the lender and servicer should indicate any corrections and request for a refund with the VA funding fee payment system. Refunds to the borrower uh, where the borrower was charged a funding fee um, despite the applicability of an exemption and the VA determines a refund is due, the VA will, will submit the refund directly to the borrower. However, there are situations where the refund to the lender, uh, in cases where the lender paid a funding fee to the VA in error without having charged the borrower the funding fee, the refund then will be directed directly to the lender. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us in Better VA on the Facebook group. Any moderator can help answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.